Hello everybody, once again welcome back to uh, the layout. Today I'm going to start with uh, a new project which is uh, building a bridge in this location. So the first thing I want to do is um, to make this a bit narrower so I'm gonna cut back uh, the track foam all the way until the sleepers and then I'm also going to cut away uh, the wood which is below it and uh, obviously I will be doing the same uh, on this side and I will also be cutting uh, a hole in the middle so that will then go from sleeper to sleeper All right, so this is what it looks like after cutting away the sides and uh, the middle part. What I'm uh, planning to do is, um, well, the reason for cutting away uh, all the way to the uh, sleepers is that now I can um, I can have uh, girder plates on the sides here and then so the entire structure of the lift bridge will, um, will more or less be um, attached to that. So that was the reason why I uh, wanted to cut it away like this. About uh, the working of the bridge itself, I've decided not to make it uh, an operating bridge uh, as such. Uh, because in order to do that I would have to cut these pieces loose from the rest of the track and I expect that if I do that that will be problematic for the curve that I'm having here right now the curve is really smooth and working uh, very well and I'm afraid that if I uh, if I cut the pieces out so that I can make it a, a truly working uh, lift bridge I will no longer be able to align uh, the track on the curve uh, as nicely as I have it now. So I'm I'm just going to leave it like that. That means I, I will be modeling a lift bridge, but it will be uh, it will be in down position or or in close position all the time, and that is fine uh, for me. So let me explain what my intention of doing is. I would like to model a bridge that is looking something similar like uh, this one. However, there are two issues that I need to solve. The first one is that uh, the bridge as shown here is um, on a straight uh, piece of track. And I will have to model it on a curved piece of track as you have seen. So that is something that I will have to... Um, fix or come up with a solution with uh, which I will show you uh, in a minute what I intend to do. Uh, the second issue is that um, I have been looking for um, scratch built materials that I could use to, uh, to put together this bridge so essentially the beams that this uh, bridge is uh, constructed of but I cannot find anything that is looking uh, really uh, realistic and so I will have to uh, come up with a solution on that as well and so my thought is now that um, I will be buying uh, existing uh, bridge uh, kits that look uh, somewhat uh, realistic or at least realistically enough so I found these two bridges, uh, those are from uh, Kibri and yeah, if I zoom in I don't know if you can see it uh, very well but um, at least these uh, bridges appear to be uh, looking uh, quite realistically. Um, so I intend to use uh, these bridges um, and just uh, cut off uh, the pieces that I, uh, that I need. And so then the plan is to, um, 
to build a lift bridge, uh, something like this, like uh, I've tried to illustrate here. So there you can also see the dimensions. Um, as you can see, uh, the width of the span will be 18 centimeters. And the height of the towers will be uh, 23 centimeters. So in real life, that would mean a bridge with a height of about uh, 20 meters, which I think is um, realistic. And then uh, there is the issue of uh, the curved track. So I made an illustration of uh, what I intend to do there. So on the left you have uh, sort of the top view. And on the right is like a, a three-dimensional uh, illustration. So you can see that uh, the towers um, will have to be placed uh, with an angle, in an angle with respect uh, to the span. To see if uh, this plan uh, will work, I cut out um, strips of uh, foam with the appropriate length. So for example, uh, these pieces here are 18 centimeters. And then this is the width of the, of the towers, which was 7.7 .7 centimeters. And so then this uh, allows me to um, to sort of check what kind of width um, I need for the entire uh, bridge. And so it turns out that the width between, um, or the width of the, of the span will have to be at least uh, 14 and a half centimeters. If I choose it like that, then, um, it will be no problem for my longest uh, longest uh, coach to uh, to pass that so there will be uh, there will be enough uh, clearance so i think that should uh, work so the other thing uh, what i've done here is i've glued this uh, piece of uh, this other piece of uh, foam uh, in place as well that is um 23 centimeters in height so that will represent uh, the height of the uh, entire bridge uh, structure all right so the foregoing uh, part of this video was taken uh, in the first week of june and right now it is uh, the last week of july and as you can see uh, nothing has happened and um, there are two reasons uh, for that. The first one is that um, we've had uh, a very nice summer. We've been on summer vacation uh, and we've uh, actually been uh, enjoying the nice uh, summer weather. And it was also simply too hot uh, to be in this room uh, doing some modeling. But the second reason is that uh, I tried to order the uh, bridge kits that I was talking about from Kibri. And they seem to be uh, out of stock uh, everywhere. So I haven't been able to order those uh, yet. Uh, but what I have done is um, I've ordered uh, two Craftsman's uh, kits uh, in the US. And those will be kits that I will be placing in this area here to model the harbor scene. So that means that um, um, the contents of the next video will either be uh, uh, the continuing work on the bridge or the start of uh, the modeling of these uh, kits that will go in the harbor scene over there depending on which uh, ones uh, I will be uh, uh, receiving at home uh, first uh, anyway um, I'm going to call this video a wrap, uh, at least I hope um, it has uh, given you uh, an update on uh, the plans that I'm having. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and speak to you uh, in the next video.